Before I get started, make sure you subscribe to Food Network's YouTube channel by clicking right there. Right there. Right there. Anytime you roll like cheese and spinach and mushrooms into chicken and bake it, this chicken is ridiculous. It's so good. My kids are heading off to kindergarten. I am kind of sad because it just means that they're five years old. They're getting older and I'm looking older. This is not fair. Isn't that cool? They have such cool things. While I am powerless to the march of time, I can control what goes into their little bodies as far as brain food. And this recipe has all of that. So guess what we're going to make? We're gonna make a garden garlic butter. What we're gonna start with is a compound butter. And if you've never made it, it is like butter went to college and came back with a degree in awesome. Wonderful. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grate the garlic. So for this garden butter, we're gonna just go with basil and parsley. You're doing yes. such a good job. That's amazing. Who handles the knife? Us. No. Wrong answer. Mom. Mom does. Grown ups handle knives. Perfect, Will. Thank you. Do you guys want to take some bread with you? And skippity skip skip, because I'm going to finish up in here. I'm or gonna... we could just sprinkle bread in there. Probably not. So we're going to take the compound butter that we just made and we're going to melt it in a cast iron skillet. Add our mushrooms. We all know, don't overcrowd your pan with mushrooms or they won't necessarily brown. Give me about 30 more minutes to get this last mushroom out. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this butter. I'm gonna add my sliced baguette. We're gonna just throw it in the oven. That gives us a chance to prep our chicken rolls. All right, as we all know and love, the pounder. So we just pound them, get them kind of thin. We're just gonna season with salt and pepper on both sides. So, we're gonna make a sauce. What we have is a cup of mozzarella cheese, quarter a cup of Parmesan, and of course, mayo. That just becomes a little dip of glory. And we're going to spread those inside each chicken. Just a few spinach leaves, five or six. And on top of that, we layer our mushrooms. It all comes together, Henry. I don't know who that was. Mm. Now the fun part begins. This is where it starts rolling. <laughs> I have no friends, none. You'll take a knife and just cut it right down in the middle. I'm gonna finish up with the rest of these rolls. We will be right back after these messages. <laughs> cut side up, place those halves right on top of the baguettes in your cast iron throw a little bit of that compound butter, a few little dollops right over the top. And then just a little sprinkle of your Parmesan. It's gonna go back into the oven. So while the chicken is cooking, you got like 10 minutes left. So you're gonna start pondering the whole time continuum thing. Your children get older and your jowls get bigger and you're getting older and there's nothing you can do to rewind time. You're just fighting the big clock and they're going to school, and all you can really think about is your jowls. It's fine. Oh, this looks beautiful. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, I've got this awesome asparagus that's gonna go great with the rest of my compound butter, and I'm gonna serve it just like this. Who's ready? Hey, guys. Look at this. That looks beautiful. Well, thanks. This is the perfect Sunday night dinner. It's so nourishing. It's like the perfect blend of brain food. You know, you've got your proteins from the chicken. You've got all this green antioxidants in the spinach. It's smart food, it honestly is. It's like, I'm telling you what, these kids will go to school the next day and they'll teach all these other kids how to make a crap pun. Cool supplies, <laughs> school supplies. No. Yeah, that one, that one, that fell real flat. Awesome. Is this exciting? I know. Hey guys, thanks for watching. For more timeless recipes, make sure you subscribe to Food Network's YouTube channel.